Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got another old builds video here, and these are legit old builds. Um, <clears throat> set some of these off to the side, and we'll get to them one by one. Um, these are the drag cars, I would say, of my fleet. Um, I'm going to start with the pepper shaker. Okay, so get back into model cars, move back to Brantley County, Georgia. Really get back into it. <clears throat> Saw the old pepper shaker. What's the car called? Is it called the pepper shaker? I got another one on the shelf somewhere. Anyway, um, I don't see it. Spray bomb. I think one of my first attempts of pl at plug wires, the paint is hideous. Um, I could never do good with spray paint. Just couldn't do it. Um, I don't know if I'd bathe this sucker with, um, floor polish. It doesn't look like I did. I don't know. I, I would use some of the future because guess who I was watching? Yep. That guy, HPI guy. And I think he dips his in floor polish sometimes. Anyway, this is the, the 57 Chevy Pepper Shaker. And I thought, I'm going to do a straight up race car out of this one. So I painted all the, or, you know, all the bumpers are all painted. There's no chrome at all. Everything's painted. Um, did that intentionally. Didn't just do it, just, just like spray bomb the whole thing. I, just, I actually did it intentionally. I didn't put the um, little horns inside the 57. One thing I don't like about a 57 is the hood. And I know a lot of guys are going to disagree. I think the 57 is the, of the Tri-5. I think it's the, I'm not going to say ugliest because I think they're nice cars. But I think it's the less desirable. 56 looks better and a 55 looks the best. But anyway, this is a 57. No detail. Just, just flat black. Um, under the hood, it's got that. I don't know. I, you guys tell me what kind of, it's like a chain driven supercharger and a four carburetors, side drafts, 409. And it does have spark plug wires. See them? I'm pretty sure that's my first go at it. And those are, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, that is. It's like this rubber string stuff. It just, it wouldn't take shape or anything, but I thought that was awesome because I had put me some plug wires on there. So anyway, that was, this one's probably, we moved back in 2015, I think. This one's a good five, four, five years old. Four or five years old? Four years old? I don't know. I've improved since. All right, next. Okay, this one was built on the channel, so I won't do that one. I'll do this one. Right, getting a little better a little more of a theme going on with the primer hood um, these are cool kits this is that Ravel oh by the way the pepper shaker is an a AMT AMT kit here's a Ravel um, Fox body Mustang which I've heard someone say that it's it's out of want it's kind of wonky I don't what's wonky about it I don't know I, I can't tell. I don't know. Maybe it was Lucas C that said something about the dimensions of the body aren't quite right. Maybe it's a little too square back here. It's a square back, isn't it? <laughs> oh, anyway, let me back 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 to reality. Um, I did put some uh, timing marks. I thought, nah, I'd probably run about eleven thirty-three and a quarter mile. Um, I did the interior. It's got those racing seats. I just did some real gaudy um, pinstriping on the seats. It looks really gaudy. Um, I did use I did use the little chalk marks, whatever, on the on the tires. Um, blacked around the windows. Did you see that? It's like I wanted it to look like it had like Lexan or something in it. So I blacked around the uh, front windshield and the uh other windows um looks like it was my first probably one of my first times using i can see the clear a little bit on the edge the clear testers glue didn't put windshield wipers on it it's a race car we don't drive it in the rain 
take the hood. Oh, this hood actually has hinges. Let me see if I can get it off. There we go. All right, so under the hood here, I uh, wired the distributor, painted the valve covers gold, and I got a straight, there's no breather on it, it's a drag car. We're sucking it straight in. Um, also, I did the water pump, crank the water pump pulley, that's it. There's no alternator on anything or anything like that. Just a water pump and that is all. And in reality, a real drag car, that's about all they got. Um, they, they have a, some of them have electric motors turn into water pumps so you don't even have to turn it from the uh, uh, engine under the what the heck is that there's something oh there was a something what that is piece of little something hanging maybe part of the suspension that doesn't have all the parts there but anyway I tried to detail it out a little bit I think this is my first shot at having a black exhaust and then spraying some sort of metal color over it to give it that shadowing effect. Sanded the tires good. I don't know what this little piece is, but I'll just put it right back under the hood. Right there. But it, it was a cool little car. The paint, again, on this one is pretty horrendous. Um, people be like, that looks good. Well, I'm comparing it to my what I do now. So um, at the time, I'm like, that looks pretty good. But it looks, it doesn't look good to me. I don't think so. All right, another one. This one made the channel. So it, MCV was started, and this is an early one. This is that 1944, uh, is it a sedan? Is that how they call it? Sedan? Yeah, I think so. And it's, it's not much of a drag car, to be honest with you. It does have uh, almost open headers. But it's an old car as far as, when I say old, the, it's an old kit. Now this kit is a repop, but it's an, it's an old kit. It don't matter if you got a repop or not, you're getting the same stuff. Actually, you're probably getting worse because the stuff's wore out. I painted the chrome on it. Um, I had not bare metal foiled anything at this time. So I taped it off and just sprayed it. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is craft paint with, um, what's that stuff? Uh, Future over the top of it. I'm pretty sure it's craft paint because, yep, right here, see there's a dark spot right at the back of the chrome. When I peeled the tape off, it peeled the paint off too because the, uh, looks like I just brushed some on there to try and fix that. But I was super happy with this car when I built it. I thought that thing was killer. I was like, man, check out my decal work and everything. So it was like, and it was an old 394. But I was I was so happy with this one. I wired it. Got the old Oldsmobile. Oh, and I did the, uh, the crank to water pump on this one too. I mean, it's a drag car. It's all you need. Yeah. Cool car. Need to do it again. Maybe with a better paint job. All right, next is, let's just go ahead and do this one. So Mark over at Hobby Nuts sent me this kit and I wish I had done a better job painting it, but pre-MCW, this is the Hearst Harry Olds. Um, gentleman Joe Shubuck. It was a twin engine drag car. All It was, uh, they used not Cadillac Eldorado, but Oldsmobile. Anyway, they used these front wheel drive systems, one in the front, one in the back. Um, this is a curbside kit, kind of. The hoods don't open. Um, the engines, you actually can't, you do build them up. It's got valve covers and everything, but you can't really, the detail is very low, but it's still, it's, it's a cool little kit, but my paint job, now that I look at it, is terrible. I don't know what in the heck happened. Oh, I do know what in the heck happened. It's called a. Uh, it's called a. Uh, future floor, uh, yeah, future floor polish, and it made the gold turn real bad. But anyway, it was a cool kit. It was neat. It's a quick build. It didn't take long at all. You build two engine assemblies. They're almost identical. They go up under there because it's front wheel drive. Um, 
two front wheel drive units uh, had like twin throttles twin everything but it was the Hearst Terriers. it was an old monogram kit came out in the 60s but this was a repop from the 90s I think all right next is this cool looking Chevelle still this actually this one predates this one because this was also I think this might have been spray painted and then I had to then I airbrushed it and it still looks terrible but um one of my one of my first more custom jobs um wow that tire is super oh it's, it's loose I was about to say it's really crooked it's got some bad toe in on the back back axle um weathered a little bit under the bottom make it look like it's been driven um orange roll cage this is the car that everybody uses especially fred henry um for um, pro streets they'll cut, they'll cut the back half off as a matter of fact i think i know a guy who's making that back section now so you don't have to buy the whole kit you could just get that section from him um under the hood is that big block i was super stoked when i did this one this was my like i was like i'm the man because look at all the detail i did i had the two vent two tubes going from the valve covers down to the headers i don't know if drag cars do that but i know like see them going down to the headers i know like pulling trucks and stuff will have that and it'll burn that excess uh uh blow by but wired it i put a uh this is a different water hose so it's got a it's got a custom radiator hose aren't you just so impressed it's got this little wire i said yeah it looks like a uh, could be a uh, temperature wire that goes down to a temperature probe so it's got that and i put fuel lines on it i've never done that on any other car put fuel lines on um it looked good opened up the front fin there's no inner fender wells because drag cars don't have fender wells we don't need that junk although my mustang i'm pretty sure has fender wells does it yes it does i should have cut them out on the mustang so it's open which makes it look sweet up under there and uh anyway turned out nice just a pretty good looking car paint job still suffered tremendously because lack of experience i painted all the chrome that i taped it off and i painted it also and now still not mc mcw paints but one of my favorite builds and the paint really disappoints me and it makes me sad because i love this kit i've got two or three more of them though. i got i got three more of these i've got to rebuild this and and do even better um bare metal foil there it is there there was one of my not first tries but a legit big time foil job because this one had a lot of foil all this on the sides all around the uh everything i mean you see if it's chrome it's oh man my windshield wiper is broken what in the heck happened time for a rebuild um russ davis ford uh ravel thunderbolt and i just love these because my dad always told me about the thunderbolts and uh I, well i wasn't going to turn it over because all this will fall off but anyway here we go under the bottom cool car cool cool car thunderbolts are awesome 427 under the hood this was somewhat of a factory race car these dealerships would get them i uh, had a lot of aluminum i think the front fenders made either were aluminum or fiberglass the bumpers would have been aluminum or fiberglass super lightweight no insulation or anything in them and they would scream but it had the uh 427 side oiler side um uh also had side bolt mains cross bolt mains that's what it's called yeah cross bolt main side oiler 427 two four barrels came like that um i did the uh, wires on it which i was I were, I, I were i was really proud of those wires i thought it looked mighty nice i was as neat as i could with them and um but unfortunately the paint has begun to crack and uh, you see it this is testers the little red or little bottles of red testers that's what i painted this with and apparently something did not mix well with maybe the lacquer thinner or something like that 
you can't say that's not a good looking engine it looks so sweet i saw this engine one time in a ford pickup at the uh, north charleston um north charleston uh scma show that i went to last year um as a matter of fact it's in a video if you go watch that north charleston scma model show you'll see it's just like a gray ford but it's got this engine in it and he's got the <coughs> uh air breathers and like that and everything it was cool but um i totally lost my train of thought but anyway this was a fun build again you you from build to build you uh oh yeah i was talking about the paint it was not looking good and yeah and then and then i totally forgot what it was but anyway um this is a super nice kit if you can get your hands on any of them i haven't bought them all but i do have two let's see i've got two tasca and three russ davises and then above that Sox and martin um dodge but anyway i love this car i think it's just so sweet awesome 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 i don't remember where i was going while ago with my what i was saying but um yeah so anyway guys these are my drag cars let me speaking of drag let me drag these over here so you can see them all lined up in the staging uh oh he's not staged now he's staged but thanks for watching this little um, 57 Chevy, Pepper Shaker, 40 Ford, Hearst Harry Olds, 67 Chevelle, I think, and the uh, 64, I believe it is, Ford Thunderbolt. All right, guys, anyway, done talking. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out my bills. Thanks for whoever you were. Again, I hadn't seen the comments yet on any, the other video, but thanks for recommending that I take my my shelf queens as jason hanscom says down and letting you guys look at them and i'm trying to do it in kind of a series but anyway someone said when, when i want to see the pro street they're coming they're coming they're coming the pro streets are coming um but guys thanks for watching this video i appreciate it if you uh haven't subscribed already go hit that subscription button like this video tell me which ones of these have you built have you built the thunderbolt isn't that a sweet build it is it really is this is a nice build I got to do another one. Um, anyway, have you ever driven a real drag car? I have actually driven a real drag truck before. Well, my dad had one, and uh, I actually drove it. I've driven motorcycles down the drag strip. I've driven uh, trucks down the drag strip, uh, different trucks. I just got a text from Jason Hanscom while I'm talking. Isn't that something? Um, but yeah i've driven those things and it's a lot of fun so it makes like drag cars and stuff even more fun because you can see you you know how stuff actually works so um you, you know you've seen like the 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 way i do my pulleys and stuff you know i, I don't know. anyway so it's a model car we can do it however we want to it's ours we can do exactly what we want go check out hobby nut models where but say none of these cars got paint from hobby nut models these are these are prior to hobby nut models and prior to mcw paints but go check out hobby nut models check out his models check out his paint lines check out his airbrushes check out his everything if you like a tank or if you like a, an airplane i don't know why you would but if you do he's got those two um um spring store thank you to all you guys who buy t-shirts stickers coffee mugs and all those things i really appreciate it for your support um patreon members guys thank you so much and uh to you watching we'll see you on the next one because uh i'm done with this video one two three four five six drag cars six drag cars anyway all right guys see you later Bye.